report and joined this morning by Krista. Good morning, how are you? I'm well, how are you? Doing great, thank you. Uh, as we uh, approach the end of October already, man, time's just flying by. I know, right? Christmas will be here before we know <laughs> Shh, it. Don't say that word yet. <laughs> we, got, we got to fill up on turkey for Thanksgiving at first. I mean, that's, you know, people skip over th Thanksgiving. That's the important one. We got to get plump, right? Get our winter feed on. Anyways. Well, you had your board report. Yes. Uh, how'd that go this uh, this month? Yeah, so we had our board meeting yesterday, and so as always, we'll go over our financials. Overall, um, for September, we had a hundred and sixty thousand nine hundred and ninety-six dollar operational loss for September. The net income was thirty-nine thousand five hundred and three dollars. Can't forget that three dollars of a month. <laughs> For September due to non-operating that was on our non-operating revenue obviously um, as Brad has talked before we like to make money mm -hmm. off of our four walls we have other ways um, but that was our non-operating revenue this month um, inpatient volumes were down and outpatient volumes are below budget so it looks like we're gonna have a repeat of um, September but we've <laughs> had a pretty good year overall um, some things to note we have had a lot of new pro medical providers coming on staff, and as of right now, we have four new ones that Ooh. have come this quarter, so we're waiting for all their credentialing <laughs> and insurances, but just so the community knows and is aware that this is coming up. Uh, Elizabeth Rodriguez is at our Akron Clinic. She is actually a bilingual nurse practitioner to serve that community, and we're awesome. excited about that. Yes. Um, Anthony Witt just came on board, <coughs> and he is at Fulton County Medical Clinic, and we're waiting for all the insurances to come through, but he uh, does family medicine along with doing, um, he does OB as well. Okay. And then we have Dr. Amadi, which she was just out at a chamber event on Friday, so some of, of our community got to meet her. She's at Woodlawn Medical Professionals, and she does family medicine and OB as well, um, and she also is C-section certified, so... Um, just a, an amazing opportunity to bring these services into our community and last but not least kyle summers is an occupational medicine and wellness department and she's a nurse practitioner so if any um, employers is somebody who gets hurt on the job pre-employment physicals mm -hmm. drug screenings all those things right we don't have to go out of town anymore for those <laughs> it's all housed um, in the schaefer medical clinic over by ortho well you know the other nice part about it for businesses is you don't have to uh, send them to a normal doctor to make an appointment for a week or two out uh, she can see them same day typically as long as it's not late in the day yeah same day or next day yeah. if, if it's after 2 p.m we'll do our best yeah. but we can't promise yeah. anything obviously but we'll try to yeah. do it the next morning up. so that's so that's that'll make things so much nicer for the community yes yeah uh, another step uh, just taking care of the community yep just one of those ways yeah. of earning the right to care for our community and on that note as well last time we were here we hinted about this big thing we had oh, coming yes. right yes well we're big award yes we got a huge award um it's really nice when our tiny health system <laughs> compared to others wins a national award and yes. that's what we did our ob department won the shining star award so the shining star award is given out by the national rural health um, department and they give one out per state and we were selected for indiana so out of all the rural health systems we are selected for committing to ob and the ob services that we provide the community um, if nobody, I'm sure people might be aware, but maybe they're not aware, around Indiana and nationwide, um, OB services are closing in rural health. Yeah. Um, I just talked to somebody a few days ago, and they were saying in Wyoming, some these women are driving two and three hours because the wow. service is closing. Um, at Woodlawn, we've been committed to finding ways to make that service not only survive, but thrive, yeah. um, and bringing on two new medical providers to help that service grow is just um, shows our, our commitment to this community to do that but we won an award mm -hmm. for all of our team's hard work and so that um, I shout out to all the nurses and doctors and everybody who makes that happen well that's just the thing it's just not one or two people there's a there's a whole list of people that make that happen and uh, congratulations to all those involved because that that is uh, for the whole state of Indiana that's a pretty big award yes Yes. Uh, it's, it's neat too because uh, you know we talked to, to you about uh, some of the changes in OB but just upgrading make it fresh and stuff like you keep uh, you keep doing and that makes it uh, more comfortable for for the moms to be yes and, yeah. and making sure that you know moms aren't driving hour right, right. or two hours to go to a bigger city yeah 
So it's nice too. You know, if they have to drive an hour to come here, you know, that's okay. Right. Because <laughs> obviously you want them. But uh, yeah, to take, take care of the local ones, that's mm -hmm. always nice as well. Because unfortunately, like you said, around the area, a lot are closing. So. Well, what else is happening at uh, Woodlawn Health? So we are always busy, right? Um, I would be remiss. October's Breast Cancer Awareness mm -hmm. Month. Um, and so obviously we have to remind all those women 40 and over, if you haven't been to see us on, for your yearly mammogram, please, please come um, and uh, schedule your appointment. Um, they, You do not need a, a doctor's order for your first screening. So uh, make sure that we keep those appointments. You keep up on those appointments. Um, the easiest way for you to survive any type of cancer is early detection. Right, right. So um, we have that going on. Some other things we've been on the community, I mentioned we did a women's wellness event for um, our Chamber of Commerce here in Rochester. We also just got done in taking a panel. Um, we did a panel discussion last night at Moms of Preschoolers group. So um, just so grateful that, to those groups who let us partner with them to educate our community about um, different women's wellness topics. Um, and then, now last but not least, we will all be out in our community. Um, uh, we will be at Boo Fest. I don't know. Are you guys going no, to Boo yes. Fest? Oh, okay. yes. Yep, yes. yep. We'll be there. Well, we're going to be at Boo Fest, so come say hi to us. We'll have candy um, while it lasts, so come out. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you say that, while it lasts, because, yeah, the kids are crazy when it comes to, to candy, and uh, uh, they love to come out for that. So hopefully the weather's cooperating. Yes. Yes. If yes. Not we have we have a woodlawn tent. So there look you go. for our woodlawn tent. They're perfect. Um, and then we will also be in the communities of Akron and Argus on Halloween. From in Argus, we will be there from seven to nine. In Akron, from six to eight. Hopefully, okay. I got those right. <laughs> Akron, we will be downtown, not in front of the clinic. And then Argus will be in front of our clinic. And we'll be just greeting our community yeah. and passing out candy. Um, our teams there will be there. So if you're in those communities or if you're taking your kids to get yeah. more candy and Friday go. night wasn't <laughs> enough for you, um, you know, stop by, say hi. We'd love to meet you. You know, the other neat part about it is when you have uh, the whole staff out there and stuff like that, if there's questions, I'm, I'm sure they'll take those as well and, uh, you know, get you directed to the right people if they don't know the answers. Yes, absolutely. And we actually, Elizabeth Rodriguez will be in Akron. She's our new um, nurse okay. practitioner. So if you haven't met her, stop. Yeah, say perfect hi. opportunity. Yes, she's very, her and her kids are going to come out and do <laughs> trick or treating. So perfect. perfect opportunity to meet them. And then last but not least, you know, um, if you ever want to stay up to date on what's happening, within our health system, a great way is our Facebook page. We update that quite regularly um, and we have lots of information. Cool. That, so. It's also as we uh, in the end of the year, uh, obviously a lot of uh, wrapping things up and, and getting ready to, to start the new year. Yes, absolutely. It's crazy. Uh, we're talking about that already. Kristen, anything else this morning? No, thank All you right. so much. Well, thank for you for coming in. Have a good month, and we'll look forward to talking to you again next month. Yep, we'll talk to you soon. Woodlawn Health Report here on Giant FM. Giant FM.